Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a photo collage inspired YouTube banner. So in today's video, I'm going to be using the Superimpose X app. You can use that or any eraser app of your choice. Also, I'll be using PixArt, Canva, Fonto, and Facetune. All the apps will be listed down below. Also, make sure you are subscribed to my channel with the notifications turned on so you don't miss when I upload any videos. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. I don't want to hold y'all too much. Alright y'all, so we're going to be using the Superimpose X app first to erase the background of my image. Now, I did do this multiple times, so I'm only showing you one image that I erased the background of. Um, you can use any eraser app of your choice. Um, I know I've heard uh, Bozart or something like that. A lot of people have been leaving notes in my comments about a new eraser app that everyone's been using. Um, I personally don't use it. I actually downloaded it and tried to use it for this video, but I didn't use it because... It does the same thing as Superimpose X and I get more um, features because I did pay for the Superimpose X app and also the Bozart app you actually pay for like a yearly subscription or a monthly subscription or you can buy it out one time for like $79 or something like that and I only paid for the Superimpose app X app one time and it was $10 so I just decided to go ahead and use the app that I'm familiar with um, but like I said you can use any app of your choice and they also have an eraser app on PixArt if you want to use that free eraser app. But yeah, I'm just erasing the background first. Now I'm just going to be adding like a, a white border or white glow around my picture by going to where it says tools and going uh, to where it says white outline or um, outline, mass outline, I think. And then I'm just going to control the thickness and also the glow of the image. Now you see that little white square at the corner. That's where you can change the color, but I love the white aesthetics when it comes to like the glowing in the background of the image um so i'm pretty much doing this with all of my images so um from this step you're going to erase every image that you want to appear on your uh, banner so once you have the image saved you're going to go to the Fonto app now you can do this in pixar you can do this in canva you can do this in pretty much whatever editor app you have but i'm using Fonto to do this because Fonto has a font that i need downloaded already um, so what I'm doing is making an image 1280 by 720. You also probably can use any custom dimensions or any custom size that you want to use. I just always use this and it works out perfect for me when I want to enlarge the image or whatever. Um, so I'm making the color of this image black and I'm going to make the, my channel name a uh, text font in white. The reason I'm doing this is because I'm making this into glitter letters as you're going to see in this next step. But the way that I do it um, in Pixar is I make the background image black and then I make the text white. Um, that way, um, when you add the glitter background, it'll just automatically transfer it to like the glitter letters, I guess. I'm not, I don't know if that makes sense. I have shown this on my channel previously. Um, another thing I am using, I think it's called, uh, Dream, Big Dreams or, um, something Dreams, the font that I'm using. So I'll let y'all know down in the comments, I'm down, sorry, down in the description box what font I'm using. Um, so now we're going to go to the Pixar app and what we're going to do is open up the same image that we just saved from Pixar. And once you have an image put up in Pixar, you're gonna go to where it says add photo. Now you can download a glitter background from anywhere, but I have mine already saved on my iPad. So what you're gonna do from here is click on where it says blend and then go scroll to where it says darken. Um, and that's pretty much gonna transfer the glitter onto the white letters. And I like to duplicate mine instead of making the image larger. I like to just duplicate it and then drag it along um, where it fits best. So once you have this image done, you're gonna hit save. And then you're going to go back into the Superimpose X app or whatever eraser app that you're using, any eraser app of your choice. Um, and then you're just going to erase the background. Now I'm going to show you guys how I erase the background of Superimpose one more time because it is super easy. It is a $10 fee um, to use the Superimpose X app. I might have to look that up. They might have increased the price by now, but this is not sponsored by them either. I just really, really love the Superimpose X app and it's super easy to erase the background. I honestly hate erasing how I erased at the beginning of the video. I literally hate that. I always like to erase with a solid background and just click on the image. And I find that super easy in the Superimpose X app. Um, so if you have a chance to download this app, it's really worth it, especially if you're making your own like intros, outros, templates, um, banners, anything like that. I feel like it's just really worth it. And also this is how I create a lot of my thumbnails also. Um, but anyway, back to this video. So what you're going to do again is go to tools, scroll to where it says outline, and then we're going to make another white border. Um, I want this border to be a little bit thinner and then I'm going to go to glow to make it not so harsh and it's just going to look like there's a glowing white background behind the letters. Um, once you're done with that, you're going to hit save.
So now we're going to go back into the Canva app. Now this time we're going to be creating the center portion of the banner. Uh, so what we're going to do is create a custom image size uh, 2560 by 423. So once you have the image pulled up, what you want to do is click on where it says upload and then you're going to add any images that you created previously, um, any images that you erased the background of, your channel name. So anything that you just created, um, you're going to add here. So you're going to click on where it says upload media, um, photo library, or wherever your images are. Um, I already have mine here, so I'm just going to click um, and add them to the second layer image that I created because I like to have mine kind of laid out in a way. Um, so now what I'm going to do is click on the color section at the top, and I'm just going to choose a color from one of the images that I uploaded, which was this pretty pink. pink. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and size everything the way that I want it. And I want to make sure everything is in, directly in the center of my banner. So now I'm going to click on where it says text. I'm going to use the most recent custom font that I've used. You can also just add text and use whatever font that you want to use. And I'm just going to add my channel name again. And this time I'm going to make the text for my channel name in white. Um, and I just want to make sure everything is sized. You can also adjust it by pulling the tag along the side. Um, you can adjust the font, the color. I'm going to make, like I said, this text font white. And then I'm going to click on the three dots, click on effects, and I'm going to add a shadow. And the shadow was first white, but I changed it to black. And I also was like messing with the transparency, um, the color, the blur, everything like that, just so it can kind of stand out a little bit more from the pink background. Um, and then I'm just going to make sure it's directly in the center. Um, and once I'm done with that, I'm going to start messing around with the images. So the way I did this, I wanted to make sure my images was kind of like in front of my letters for this, uh, for the two side images, of course. Um, and I actually didn't end up using all four of these images. I only used three of them, as y'all probably can tell by the banner. Um, so what I'm doing now is just making sure everything is aligned straight. So for this third image, what I'm going to do, um, what I'm going to do for the third image is I'm going to place it in the center, but I'm going to um, click on the three dots. And then click on position and I'm going to move it behind the white letter so it doesn't color cover that K um, as y'all can see it looks a little bit better back there but I did have to like resize it because it was a little bit too small Now I'm going to be adding my social media handles. You can do this too by adding text and going to like the glow font that they have pre-made. Um, for me, I already had my social media um, template made and I just uploaded it as an image. Um, so just to make it a little bit quicker in the video, you guys can just go to where it says elements, type in social media icons. It'll pull up all the like Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, whatever you need for your social media. You can also customize the font that you want. Um, and from here, we're going to go ahead and save this image. And once this image is saved, we're going to head over to the Pixar app. And now we're going to be making the collage um, for the entire banner. So what you're going to do is add however many photos you want. Go to where it says ratio. And then I'm going to scroll all the way to the left or scroll to the right to where it says YouTube. Um, and also, I'm going to erase the border. Um, all this is optional based on how you want your banner to look. Um, and you can just arrange the pictures and orders that you want them to float in. Um, and then make sure they're all aligned straight. Um, and once you're done with that, you're going to hit next. Um, you can save from here um, like I did. I just saved the image from here. Um, but if you want to add filters from here, you can. Um, they do have multiple filter options that you can choose from. So you can click on FX and then scroll through the image filter options that they have on Pixar. I do have the paid version, so I do have different filters. If you have the paid version, you will have access to these filters as well. But I actually didn't even use the filters from Pixar. I just wanted to show you guys this option. Um, but I actually used my editing app called um, Facetune. Um, and I use the filter from Facetune, as you're going to see here. Um, I do pay for Facetune as well. So the... Um, filter that I'm using is a paid version of this um, app so they do have free filters but I wanted to use like the pinky tone background um, which I believe is better like the paid version so that's what you see me doing here then I'm going to hit save 
Now we're going back into the Canva app. We're going to make a custom design size 2560 by 1440. This is the size of the entire YouTube banner desktop size. Um, so what we're going to do now is go to where it says upload and then you're going to upload the image that you just saved from PixArt, the collage image, or if you added a filter, um, you're going to upload that image and size the size of the entire banner. And then you're also going to add in um, the center portion of the banner as well. And then you're going to make sure that is sized correctly. Click on the three dots and make sure it's directly in the uh, center or you can just make sure uh, detect by the lines. It'll tell you when it's directly in the center. Um, and once you have it directly in the center, what you're going to do is duplicate it. Um, and once you have that duplicated, you're going to take that first image layer and then you're going to make it, the transparency like a little bit lighter. I did this because I wanted to see my images. If, say if you look it up on the desktop, you'll be able to see my images. So I did the top layer. I made it uh, to where it's like shrunk down to see my images. I don't know if I'm explaining that right, y'all, but I hope y'all understand what I'm saying by looking at it. Um, but after that, what I did was went to where it says lines and shapes and I added a plain black line. Um, you can also adjust the thickness of the line as well. And I made the, made sure the line was white. I think the thickness I use for the line is uh, 15. And then I made sure the line stretched across, across the entire banner. Um, and then I duplicated once everything was set in stone. I duplicated the line and then I uh, put it at the top and bottom of the middle portion of the banner. Um, that pretty much wraps up this video. I hope I explained everything as best as I could. I hope y'all were able to understand this video. Um, I feel like I couldn't even explain. I kept stopping and going with this tutorial because I could not explain certain parts. I don't know what is going on today, but I hope I explained everything good. Um, with that being said, make sure you are subscribed to my channel with the notifications on, and I will see y'all in my next video.